coming. Um, how should college students and young professionals prepare for the upcoming recession? Now, we've all talked about how we can't predict the future, so we don't know for sure, but if someone is worried about a financial event that will affect their investments, their savings, their life, their security, what would each of you recommend to the young people in the audience? Uh, they're looking at me like the old lady needs has the answers <laughs> here, right? <laughs> Been here, done. Uh, first of all, there is always going to be some kind of uh, cyclical, de uh, cyclical de decline in the economy, always. There's going to go up and down. Whatever you have invested, don't touch it because it, as it goes down, it'll come back up again. So you don't want to touch that. How do you prepare for that? Because it's going to happen, whether it happens you know, soon or whether it happens later, it's going to happen eventually. The best way to prepare for that is to make certain that you're prepared, that you have what you need, that you have a skill set, that you have a backup way of making money. I always believe that. I know it's old school, but there ought to be at least two ways that you can make money. One is your business, but one is you have to go back to the classroom to teach part-time. One might be that you um, have to take a part-time job. I know I was just listening and reading about Danielle's story and all the jobs that she's had. So always have a backup plan in your head. Create it just along with your, your A plan. You know, I hate to tell people always to follow the B plan. I want to be this. I want to be that. Sometimes you have to follow the A plan. Here's where I am. Here's what I need to do. So have a backup plan and don't touch your savings. 